Hey, what's up, guys? Trust you're all doing great. Okay, so today we're going to be participating in the Primex testnet. First, we need to register as an early user, and then we need to go and get the Ethereum testnet token from the Rinkeby faucet. After that, you need to come back to the Primex application and get the other testnet tokens from their faucet right there in their application. Once that is done, we can go ahead and participate proper in the testnet. Then after participating in the testnet, we need to go to their Discord server and apply also as an early user of their application. I've just gotten the role of an early user and I'm going to show you exactly how that is done. So what you need to do is to watch this video from the beginning to the end. Let's go. Here is the Primex website, and as you can see, it says become a Primex early user. So what you need to do is to submit an application. Just click on this, it will take you to the next page where you're going to submit your application. So here it says application to the early user program. You just click start and fill in the necessary details. So next you need to come to the ring key before set and enter your address and request for some Ethereum. If you don't have in your ring key wallet i'll show you mine so this is my wallet and you can see that i have 0 0.68 ring kb eat okay so now that you've gotten your eat testnet token we need to go to the application proper and participate in the testnet at the top right you see launch application so click on it it is going to bring you right to the application where you can do the most important things now first like i told you we need to get the testnet tokens from their application. So click on tokens for set. And these are the tokens that you can mint, wrap it, wrap Bitcoin, USDC and chain list. And then you just go ahead and click on mint and you have all these tokens. So let's do just that, mint. You know that you need to confirm that in your Metamax wallet. Click confirm, successfully minted it, wrap it. So let's mint wrap BTC. Also successfully minted 0 0.5 wrapped BTC. So guys, this is how you mint every one of them. So next thing I want to do is to lend. Come to this place, you will see buckets, you will see deposits. Let's start with the buckets. Here we go. We can invest in all the tokens that we have just minted. So click on deposits. If you turn this on, the available balance is going to show right here. Look at that. That means we can go ahead to deposit 21,000. Or we can deposit less than 21,000. Wanna deposit 10,000? Click here. Give permission to access your USDC. Go ahead and click confirm. So we have given permission, and now let's confirm the transaction proper. Successfully deposited 10,000 USDC. Okay. Now when you look here, you will see withdraw button has just popped up. That means you can also withdraw your funds. Let's deposit some wrapped BTC. We have 0 0.5, so we deposit 0 0.2. Click here. Again, you have to give permission to access your wrap BTC. Confirm it and also confirm the transaction proper. Successfully deposited 0 0.2 wrapped BTC. And finally, on this, let's deposit some wrapped EAT. Click here. We have eight wrapped EAT, so we deposit three. Click deposit, give permission. Now confirm the transaction also and successfully deposited three wrapped ETH. So you may want to try to do some withdrawal. I'm not going to do that in this video. Okay, let's try to see our deposit also. When you come to lend, you will see deposit, manage your deposits. Click right here. You will see all the deposits we have just made and the withdrawal button is here also. All right. Now we move straight to trade. Click on margin trading. And this is the trading platform. If you look below here, you will see that I have no open positions yet, but I'm going to open my positions shortly. Up here, you see market and you see limit order. We're going to go with a market order. You can also go with limit order. It depends on what you want. And down here, you will see that you can set your take profit and you can set your stop loss price. So whatever you want to do is up to you. And this is the leverage. You can actually control that from right here or you can just go to 2x or you continue with the custom. 
okay whichever you're happy with you go ahead and do just that after that you click on open position you click on open position and you are good to go and if you click right here it says change bucket you will see that you can actually change the trade you want to place and then you can go ahead to select every one of them by just taking this and do the same right here also you're going to see the mass leverage you can control it from here and the ut ratio which is utility ratio control from here and the apr you can also control from here now let's say we don't want to trade this we can go ahead to trade wrap btc click here and this has changed immediately so let's go ahead and place our trade and i'm using the market order enter the amount 0.2 it and in wrap btc that is 0.012 Two. right here is our liquidation price 0.036 we can set our take profit so i want to do it plus 25 i'll be taking profit at 0.072 and our stop loss will be at 0.061 okay and i'm going with a custom leverage i can actually change it to 5x or change it to 2x but i want to continue with the custom leverage after all that we go ahead and click on open position Again, we have to give permission, confirm it. You know that when you're doing this for the first time, there is need for you to give permission to access your funds. So that is what is happening right here. Now we need to approve or confirm the transaction. Uh oh, the transaction actually failed. Okay, we try again. Now our position is successfully opened. You can see it right here, and you can also decide to close this position if you want to. Just click right here and you will be able to go ahead to close the position. If you click on Prime X, you will see the DEXs that we can also use to trade in this platform. I actually love what I'm seeing in this platform. And guys, this is just testnet and it's looking like this. What do you think will happen in the mainnet? And I hope that they'll be bringing out their own token very soon. Let's try to place one more trade on limit order. Click right here and you can change the token if you want to. Let's try USDC. I'll be doing 5,000. So this is what it is in wrap BTC. I'll be taking my profit right here and I'll stop loss right here. I'll also continue with the custom on leverage and go ahead to click create limit order. Again, you have to give permission. Like I told you, when you're doing this for the first time, you must give permission to access your funds. Click confirm. Now go ahead and confirm the transaction. Order successfully created. Now you're not going to see your limit order right here. If you want to see your limit order, you go to limit orders. And this is it. Okay. You can also cancel the limit order. Then you can see your positions history right here as well. And you can see your orders history right here also. Hope this is very, very clear. I ensure you do this on all the tokens. Do more of the testnet as often as you can. Okay. Finally, guys, let's go and join their discord server and also apply as an early user or tester so once you join their discord server head over to the feedback page and drop your feedback you can see what people are already doing right here and they're getting the roles after dropping your feedback you need to go to this page get early user role click on it then go ahead and type slash get role you can see what is happening and you will see my own right here if i click on this you will see that i have the early user role the early trader role and the early keeper role so that is exactly how this works hope you like this video and hope you learned something please go ahead and smash that like button share this video and comment i'll definitely see you in my next one we are gonna make it bye